to demonstrate for you this afternoon, and that is my SMT 5800. It's a mobile, it's a Windows Mobile 6 based smartphone from Verizon. I'm one of those Verizon family customers, uh, five users in our little network. And so I went to my Verizon store after doing a little online research, bought this phone, then went to a company called um, Code Factory and installed on it a program I purchased called Mobile Speak. At the same time, I chose to get Mobile Geo, a GPS program to add to this phone. I'm going to, after I make sure that it's properly connected up, let you hear a bit of what a talking mobile phone sounds like. I'm hitting the home key. Home. Oh. There we go. And then the less soft. Two SMS, 55 percent pairs and wireless, battery with number of model 6, last call room, Saturday, mark, next appointment, tomorrow call and backup left home. So it read me the information on the screen. It told me my power, my cell strength, uh, what my next appointment's going to be, who the last person who called me is. All of that information that you wouldn't think a blind or visually impaired person could have access to, I got access to as a result of speech. Just like the iPhone, just like the Nokia, this phone does much more than just make phone calls. In addition, mobile geo. it has the mobile geo that can give me the walking directions from here to my home. Voice notes. I can do voice notes on this in the same way you might use any other kind of digital recorder. Messaging. I can do email and text messaging on here. Call history. Call history, finding out who that missed call was. Even though this does have talking caller ID on it, I'm not always in the same room as my phone. And so I can go back and check who's called. Setting. Change my settings. Windows Media. I can access all the media. So this can be my uh, device for listening to music, listening to audio books, something that's been such an important part of the lives of blind people. Pictures and videos. I can take pictures and videos, and my friends who know I'm a big Red Sox fan have seen many of my pictures on my website. Take this on to Fenway Park, stand over the top of people, and take the picture of the tops of people's heads. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Calendar. My calendaring function. You heard in the initial screen that it has the ability to keep track of my calendar. And one of the other reasons I wanted to have my laptop up here is to realize that these phones are an adjunct to your regular desktop or laptop computer. I sync them all up in the morning. It's wonderful to you know, pour a cup of coffee and start plugging in a series of phones to get them all to agree that today is today and what you're supposed to get done today. All of this as a result of accessible mobile phones. These are only three examples of the accessible phones that will be part of our new program. We understand that in the next couple of weeks, a company called Humanware will be releasing the first screen reader for the BlackBerry line of phones. Also, the new Google phone operating under the Android operating system has an open source screen reader and self-voicing applications for it. And back to Verizon again, the LG series, the talking phones that we all kind of uh, got our first taste of what accessible phones could be like. The newest LG series will also be part of this six phone buyer's guide to accessible mobile technology and training utility for all six of those different options that blind people have today. Again, thank you so much to Verizon for what it's done in helping us fund this important course. Please tell your family and friends and colleagues that help is on the way, both in helping you find out what to buy and helping you find out how to use it. All at carotech at carotech.org and our online learning program. Again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you.